International University Hospital, and I'm here to interview Dr. Keiko Ihara from Geyo University, Tokyo, Japan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, yeah it's great having you here. And uh, could you introduce um, you a little bit to our audience? Yes. So. I'm a junior resident from Japan. I graduated from medical school, Keio University Medical School, six months ago. And in the last year of my medical school, I started to I started my clinical research about CGLP monoclonal antibodies and migraines. And that's what brought me here today. Yeah, it it, it sounds fantastic. And uh, you started your research during medical school. Uh, is it common in Japan? Um, so I guess the majority of them do not, but there are several people and several friends who yeah. have started clinical or basic science research during their medical school years, especially since during my um, clinical years, COVID-19 pandemic happened mm -hmm. and that kind of restricted our mm -hmm. learning opportunities in terms of patient care. So we wanted to several other um, extra opportunities. Yeah, that sounds great. So uh, um, is there any um, reason why you choose headache for your research? Mm -hmm. Actually, um, during my clinical clerkship, I visited Dr. Takizawa's outpatient clinic. And there were so many migraine patients who have been suffering from very, very severe symptoms for a long time. And um, they have been actually improving Due, um, thanks to CGLP monoclonal antibodies. And I thought it was really amazing for them to have cures finally. Yeah, but, but it's um, usually challenging to choose a headache uh, for research thing for academic career. So <laughs> I, was, I, I was really interested in <clears throat> your story because you choose it during medical school. So how, how was it possible? <laughs> <laughs> So first of all, yeah. Dr. Takizawa is really yeah. open to students yeah. and he's really passionate about mm -hmm. education, not only for like clinical, clinical aspects, but also for um, what students want to learn during medical school years. And he has been really um, considerate about that aspect. And also, um, I think um, there are several disorders in neurology that needs more attention than it, is, it has right now. And that's headache is one of the field that needs more attention, mm. in my opinion. Yeah. Actually, you know, I have surveyed um, other researchers a similar uh, in my age. So most of them told me that they choose headache because of having a good mentor in their country. And mm. they feel uh, headache is kind of um, under investigated by others, so they choose it. So, so, so did I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we shared that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But how, how, how is it um, like being a junior head and researcher, mm -hmm. like in Japan or in the world? <laughs> it's your first congress here. Yes, um, this is my first international congress to join, actually. And um, Sometimes it's challenging, of course, because I have limited experience of clinical practice and also in terms of like understanding of basic science. I think I should read more of the articles out there already. But the best thing is that I have a lot of experienced mentors and they are really, really um, passionate about bringing this field more open to younger, younger um, clinicians and also basic science, basic scientists. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's great because um, I remember my first uh, headache congress. It was 2015, and I feel like I was totally alone there. Nobody um, <laughs> looked at me, and <laughs> nobody was interested in my poster, and I was sit there, uh, stand, uh, standing there, but nobody asked me a question. So, but I, I think it's totally different from that age. So uh, our society is more open to younger um, researchers and yeah. more diverse. 
ever. Mm -hmm. So I think um, this is a great time to uh, join because <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, the, the, the congress is being held in Asia and yes. uh, being an uh, Asian um, female, young yes. researcher yeah. uh, was not that great <laughs> in the past <laughs> years, but you're, um, you're, I, 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 I found that uh, you, you are doing very well during this congress. You, you are Thank already you. smiling <laughs> to say hello to everyone. Um, I guess it can be really challenging in some of the occasions because I have limited clinical experience and also in terms of basic science, I really know um, what we usually know about during medical school years. So um, there's a the severe limitations I guess I have, but um, it's really good to be the youngest member of the team usually because um, a lot of seniors are really very uh, kind and they are willing to share their information with me and I feel it's really okay to ask questions when I have to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You reminded me <laughs> about my uh, first experience in International Congress. Uh, I was in um, Valencia uh, for the 2015 International Happy Congress and I feel alone because you know uh, I stand in front of my poster and nobody uh, was interested in my poster and, <laughs> and nobody asked me any questions so I, I feel um, completely um, alone but things change yes. <laughs> and uh, we are very welcoming to uh, welcoming our junior researchers like yeah. you and it's more and more diverse ever so uh, you know, it's yeah. um, very. Uh, it's been a long time since we had a uh, last international headache congress in Asian region, and mm -hmm. this is um, our <laughs> um, uh. congress being held in Asia. So, I I I I I, I found you um, really doing well in this congress. Yeah, so Thank I, you. I was very really happy <laughs> to see you. you are smiling every time when you say hello to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think it's really um, comfortable, so I must yeah. say, to um, present my poster here. We had I had before the IHC Congress, yeah, and great. yeah, and that was a really great opportunity for us to connect with people from all over the world, mm -hmm. and it's really good to know what people or what junior residents or junior physicians are doing in other countries, and that really made me. Um, comfortable to oh, present my post here, yeah. As one um, other side, um, uh, except you, there's any other <laughs> 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 trainees or students who are interested in, in having medicine in um, Japan? Is, is it preferred field or not? Um, so, given that um, migraine is more prevalent in women, there are several female students I know who are really interested in this field. They are um, willing to, how to say, um, be of help for women. They are, they are willing to, of course, um, care for all the human beings, but they have um, a really good understanding of how migraine is really prevalent and disabling for women in particular. Kind of clinical need is um, quite increasing around the world, and and I I celebrate you um, choose uh, the how they feel um, at the right timing because you know the you know if any other fields are uh, very um, occupied by many people, <laughs> so there's no room for us to be um, kind of recognized. But uh, it, we are um, very um, welcoming uh, juniors because we are not that. Occupied. <laughs> we need more researchers to collaborate. Yeah. So, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's the best thing to have yeah. some um, really supportive um, seniors like you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Really nice, and um, uh, please tell me about uh, your future goals, mm -hmm. like short term or mid term or long term. And mm -hmm. So um, let's start from the long term. Um, I would like to find something really novel 
and that helps human beings. Um, I hope it will be some field in the headache medicine. And for that, um, I would like to learn from a lot of perspectives, so to say. Like I'm, I have my background in Japan, but it might be really help, be of help. Uh, it might be really helpful for me to learn from the perspectives from the U.S. or maybe in the Europe or other like Africa, maybe South America, and so that I can have international perspective and hopefully I can um, find something really novel and so that I can commit to yeah. the... Maybe it can, be, yeah. it can become a kind of um, um, head officer in the WHO. <laughs> if you have that kind of international perspective like from that's a great view yeah. Africa, oh, that's great <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. And, uh, do you have any kind of short term plan? Mm -hmm. so um, in short term I'm just a junior resident right now so I would like to go into neurology residency programs in the near future and I would like to also do uh, postdoc research in the US that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, you yep. Are you interested in kind of um, animals or translationals or kind mm -hmm. of human or like clinical trials? Um, I'm interested in clinical research right at mm -hmm. this moment because um, since I um, graduated from med school, I'm really exposed to clinical field right now and that's my primary interest. Yeah, because we see patients and that's really good um, Running and it's really good topic to investigate. Yes. So, Dr. Um, Keiko Ihara, uh, it was wonderful to talk uh, talk to you today, to with you today. Thank yeah. you so much. It's been an honor to have you here too. Yeah, yeah it, it was really um, great talking with you, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed our talk <laughs> and um, uh, this concrete stage interview. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>